to our technology and data-driven world, providing holistic ways of knowing that engage our brains. At the age of 17, I didn't even know that a myth was more than a lie. Did you? No. <laughs> Living in this country that prides itself on facts, alternative or not, can we even see a myth like the Wizard of Oz when we run across one? Rainbows appear in the strangest of places and often in myths like the Wizard of Oz. After all, if you ask 15 people what is the meaning of a myth or a rainbow, you'll probably get 15 answers. We engage, like rainbows, we engage myths metaphorically. When we see a rainbow, we don't see a mathematical formula. We experience awe and joy at the sight. At the age of 17, I hitchhiked Highway 101 up the coast of California, blissfully unaware of the mythic nature of my journey. Unfortunately, in my innocence, I disrespected the goddesses of the road. These goddesses live in a series of metaphoric narratives. These myths are culturally constructed and permeate our lives even when we can't see them clearly. Dorothy met mythic beings along the road, and she befriended them and loved them, and they rescued her from the Wicked Witch. I, unfortunately, abandoned my potential helpers in the dark woods and lost all my gear. At 17, I couldn't see the perspective that myths allowed me to see. Luckily, I've since learned to rely on mythic beings, large and small. Toto is the only non-talking being in a land of talking lions, mythical monkeys, and trees with anger management issues. He holds the instinctual behavior the others lack and therefore is able to reveal the Wizard of Oz. He manifests the energy of the Greek goddess Artemis who understands the importance of instinct and nature in our lives. Unlike Toto, uh, unlike Toto, the wizard relies on technology to create his image and rule over others, just like Zeus, the Greek god of thunder and lightning. The, the wizard hides his humble self behind the curtain, and it's not until he is revealed that he even agrees to help Dorothy and her companions find their journeys. After all, myth is a perspective. It's a point of view. Both myths and data show us different perspectives on the same phenomenon. Maybe myth is not the opposite of truth, but just a different perspective. Maybe we need multiple perspectives in this world to explore our complex life. Dorothy took a tornado to the land of Oz in a spinning house, landed on a wicked witch, and walked out in magic shoes. Pretty amazing, isn't that? But what does the data tell us about her experience? Ignoring useless data, we see that Dorothy's journey is part of a true, not true paradigm that is reflective. In other words, myths can be metaphorically true, but not, not scientifically provable. The Tin Man makes tangible this true, not true paradigm. He is a man made of metal. He is emotional, but lacks a heart. Is he human, non-human, or maybe a little of both? If we break the Tin Man into a million pieces and study these pieces individually, will we understand his need for love more deeply? Perhaps his truth is alive in mythic thinking. As for me, 
The journeys I now take are informed by myths in the world. I use my mythic roadmap and create paths that are safe through starlit nights and dark woods. Myths can help you, too. Get out there and explore Joseph Campbell's hero's journey or Maureen Murdoch's heroine's journey to regain balance in your life. Take a mythology workshop to learn more. Thank <laughs> you.